Number 13. The warning tag on a lawnmower states that it produces noise at a level of 91 decibels. What is this in watts per meter squared? All right. So basically watts per meter squared, you have to know those are the standard units or of intensity. Okay. So we need a formula that relates decibels to intensity, basically. And that's found over here on the right-hand side. It tells us that beta, which by the way is measured in decibels, would be equal or is equal to 10 multiplied by, and I'm going to put this in brackets, by uh, the log base 10 of the intensity that's heard or the intensity of sound that's being produced divided then by I sub O. And I sub O is the threshold of hearing, which is just a constant of 10 to the minus 12. All right. So basically what I need to do is plug in uh, the decibel value of 91. So let me just erase that 91 and solve for the intensity because that's what it is. Watts per meter squared. All right. So all I need to do now do is first thing, divide out the 10 from the right hand side and divide it on over to the left. We know we're going to arrive at then an answer of 9.1. That's going to equal then log of base 10. I'm just going to leave that out. Well, yeah, it, you can leave it in. Log of base 10 times then the intensity divided by 10 raised to the minus 12. Now you're looking and you're saying, well, how in the world am I going to get I out of the log? Well, that's where the base helps you. Okay. Uh, if if you just had the word log and no base here, we assume it's going to be 10, okay? If you had the ln, the natural log, then that's about 2.71, blah, 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 all right? That would be the base value. So all you have to do now to get rid of the log is you're going to place a base of 10 on both sides of your equation. And then everything in the equation on the left-hand side gets raised up to the power of that 10, so 9.1. And then everything on this side also gets raised up to that power. So this would be log base 10 of i over 10 to the minus 12. Okay, sorry, it's getting a little tiny there, but uh, there we go. All right, now, what happens with this? Well, now, you're, now you might be looking at the same, but where do I go from here? Well, the beauty of this is that the 10 cancels the log base 10. And then what happens is then you might say, well, what is this thing floating up in the exponent? No, no, no. It basically comes back down as a normal value. All right, just get used to that. So this is 10 raised to the 9.1 will equal then the intensity divided by uh, 10 raised to the minus 12th. And if you notice now, I can simply do a little cross multiplication here. All right, so you could take out your calculator or what you can do is just simply notice that you're multiplying the same bases. So therefore you can add those exponents together. So you take nine and add it to negative 12 and you're gonna get a value of approximately 10 raised to the negative what? looks like 2.9, right? So plug that into the calculator. 10 raised to the negative 2.9. What do you get? You get about 0 0.00126, right? What happens if you took 10 raised to the 9.1, multiplied it then by, multiplied it by 10 raised to the negative 12th? Oh, look, you get the same answer, all right? So it doesn't matter how you need the value here. E either would be okay, but 0 0.00126, uh, would be that in, again, watts per meter squared, because those are the standard units of intensity. Voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Help us out. Subscribe if you can. We appreciate it very much, and tell your friends too. Take care.